this episode, we explore spacesuits and how they protect humans no matter what they might need to do in space. So you're telling me I have to poop myself? Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. You ever wondered about spacesuits? Third grader Max has. What materials are in a spacesuit? Excellent question, Max, and I've got a few more. How is a spacesuit designed? Are designs limited by technology? And after you're wearing a spacesuit, how do you go to the bathroom? Those are just some of my questions. Let's search for answers together. I've come to Houston, Texas to meet David Graziosi at ILC Dover. Welcome to ILC Dover's uh, Man Test Lab here in Houston, and I brought some different spacesuit components out that will help us talk about how we design spacesuits. Well, that's my question. How do you design a spacesuit? So the first thing we do as engineers is we start with requirements. First and foremost, we have to be mobile. We're putting an exoskeleton on a human body, and our goal is always to be as close to what we call nude body performance. From there, we start the conceptual design process. ILC Dover has been making spacesuits since the beginning of the Apollo missions. What's your opinion of the Apollo era spacesuits? The amazing thing about the Apollo suits is, was really the materials technology of the time. Working those materials were some equally amazing seamstresses who cut and stitched latex rubber, nylon, mylar, and Nomex to create the Apollo spacesuits. Their skill and precision made suits that were both flexible and strong. So the fact that you could make a suit that was still highly mobile, that you could get in a lunar rover and drive around, is actually quite impressive. 50 years later, the materials and design have improved. This multi-layer section here is what we call the thermal micrometeor garment. This is the outer garment of the suit. This is a custom fabric made of Gore-Tex, Nomex, and Kevlar. The Gore-Tex layer is dust resistant, it's water repellent. The Nomex is highly flame resistant. And then Kevlar is also very strong. It's the strongest material in this fabric. A suit's primary goal is to protect an astronaut while working in space. Below the outer shell, then, are five layers of aluminized mylar to reflect the sun's radiation, and a rubberized nylon material to catch any particles that penetrate the suit. Closer to the skin is a bladder used to pressurize the suit, and below that, against the astronaut's skin, a liquid cooling garment made from spandex and 300 feet of tubing. The textile engineering is impressive. But how does it feel? I decide to find out. Oh god, that's like challenging yeah. to get my arms to bend that way. Yep. Yeah, it what is. Like? I got a hand. Yep. I got a hand. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's like a reverse berth. Oh, they lock in. They do, they lock in. And... I guess everything has to lock in because it has to be pressurized. Yes, it has to be pressurized. Right. You right. have to. There we go. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> this is cool. Right, so this is your helmet, but it also has a protective layer on the outside for impact. So this, this isn't pressurized, this is just your protective layer. And then you have different visors that in the future would be coated mm -hmm. as basically sunglasses to reflect the sun's light. What if I'm thirsty? You do have an in-suit drink bag, which is about 32 ounces. On the later Apollo missions, spacesuits contained drinking tubes and solid food bars placed just inside the helmet, so astronauts could hydrate and eat while doing their extravehicular activities, or EVAs. So now I'm about to go to EVA, and you know what? I gotta go to the bathroom. Right. How do I go to the bathroom now? You're gonna wear a diaper, and you're gonna go in your diaper. So you're telling me I have to poop myself? That's exactly what I'm telling you. If you're working in space for eight hours to complete a mission, going to the bathroom is inevitable and taking your suit off is impossible. To address this, NASA invented the MAG, or Maximum Absorbency Garment. It is basically uh, an adult-sized diaper mm -hmm. uh, that would be worn underneath. You put your diaper on first, then put everything else uh, above it. The adult diaper is the most practical solution we have today, which makes me wonder. The spacesuits of the future, what do those look like? It's really advances in materials, making things lighter weight, lower volume. We're always looking at new materials, lighter weight metals. 
The other technology is mechanical counterpressure. You can see it in some of the movies, right, where it looks like they're basically in a coverall, but that technology doesn't exist. What you really need is active fabrics. And that technology isn't quite ready yet, maybe in 10 years, maybe 20 years. As materials and technologies advance, spacesuits will continue to improve, allowing humans to be active and comfortable while protecting them from the hardships of space.